All right, guys, this is what I was working on last night. It is the end of the racing season soon. As you can see, the flying loft is uh, empty, just one bird. Um, the rest of them are uh, on their way home from the 400 mile race. It's the final race of the season. So I decided last night to go ahead and set up my, my breeding cages. Um, so this is where I'm gonna pair up the birds and you know, I'm gonna try to do one round this season. You know, and, and breed for <clears throat> more for quality than for quantity so which is why I bought these cages um, I'm gonna be really selective with uh, uh, which birds I breed off of but anyways just wanted to show you that so tonight I'm gonna be um, putting the hens in there and kind of letting them comfortable and stuff and and then uh, with the cockbirds and then of course I still have all these breeding cages here or breeding boxes so all right so stay tuned I'm going to church but uh, tonight we're gonna be uh, pairing them up all right guys I just got done uh, cleaning the nest boxes as you can see it's pretty clean clean the floors pretty much clean every surface area here got the pens the nest uh, the hen side, the nest box is all cleaned up. And again, you know, I got the breeding cages set up already. So everything is very clean. So the only thing I got to do is uh, maybe just vacuum up a little bit here. The floor is a little, as you can see, a little messy. Get, get some stuff organized here. And then we'll be ready to pair up uh, some birds. Hello. It's yeah, I got my son here helping me out with uh, cleaning out the nest, the uh, little bowls for feeding and water. So we got all the uh, hens in their respective compartments. Uh, I'll show you more details about the hens. Uh, and on this side, I've got them all in their respective compartments as well. These are going to be my pumpers. Um, Except for the white one, we might we'll breed them with the the other white uh, that was gifted to us. So, but uh, yeah, they're all in their compartments, and uh, you know they're not always gonna be in in there. Um, once you know they're paired up, I'm gonna let them out um, a little at a time, um, just so that they can get used to their little individual boxes. So, all right. So, anyways. Um, tomorrow I'll put the cockbirds in there and then um, we'll see how it goes. All right, there's my first pairing. <laughs> that didn't take too long. The cockbird is uh, my last year's 250 mile winner. Uh, it is a Jansen based bird and uh, hen is a uh, Sujin bird. So they're both 20 to 21 birds. Um, so I figured I put them back together. So got good success with it. So I'll we'll continue that line. Okay. Anyways, yeah, that's that's uh, kind of what I want to see. You know, they're uh, the crop birds tucking his head underneath the pen. So that's good. This is uh, this is Ricardo. He is uh, I think he's a Jansen-based bird. He's produced me some really good uh, flyers, so I I kept him. And as you can see, he's a nice uh, powder blue with white flights. He's a really nice bird, and like I said, he's produced me some winning birds uh, in the past. So we're gonna we're gonna keep him. Yeah. He's a 2018 bird, so 
not too old, not young either, so. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna pair them up with blueberry. There you go. These, these guys are like super excited to see uh, top birds. Look at them, they're going crazy. Anyway, that's what I want to see. I want to see, you know, look at them. Hens dancing around with the car. That's uh, Ricardo and Blueberry. The other cockbirds can smell fresh, fresh blood there. <laughs> Hey, don't worry, you'll have a mate of your own. They're just going crazy. Looks like a girl because he's so handsome. Mm -hmm. It's Mandalorian. He's a handsome boy. He's a winning bird, money winning bird. So we're gonna pair him up with. Uh, we're gonna use it as a bull cock. It's a boy. And uh, yeah. Mandalorian's pedigree. You guys have seen that. And we're gonna pair them up with uh, these three hens. Not, not at the same time, obviously, but these are gonna be the hens that we're gonna pair them up with. So. He's not. He, oh yeah, he'll be fine. We just gotta make sure he doesn't like beat the snot out of her. She seemed to be responding. You see that when they they cock their head the hen. so far so what I'll do is I'll move I'll kind of move them around boom boom 
boom, boom. We're gonna mass produce Mandalorian. And then we're gonna use pumpers to race his babies. And then uh, we're gonna allow him to also race his own. Next pairing, this is my 2021 250 mile winner. And I'm gonna pair him up with this Brian Lewis, Blue Bar White Flight, Jansen Bird. They're both Jansen, but uh, they're about the same size. So they, they should produce pretty nice. Look at these two going now, too. Cockbird is our 250 mile winner last year. Oh, okay. She's ready. there didn't work out right away so we moved Mando down here and that's that seems to work out but that's okay because tomorrow I'm gonna move him back up there or move him down here so keep doing that until they produce big eggs all right so I am pairing up uh, 6595 Baldwin Tilson or Baldwin Wolverine with uh, a blue check, which is 6503. Let's see if I can find it here. 6503 is a uh, brick. So there's the pedigree of the pen. They're actually kind of paired up already, so. Um, That's not them. It's these two guys here. So it's a blue check. Yeah, like I said, they're kind of paired up already, so they're not really. They're kind of used to each other already. They paired up on that corner over there because they can see each other and stuff. So, so we'll um, we'll keep those two guys together. Okay. So not much dancing around there, but we got Mandalorian here. He's happy with his uh, mate. And like I said, I'm gonna move him over there and then down here more because those are three hens that I want him to uh, be sort of the bull cock. And then I've got the uh, sort of uh, Base is loaded over here, or not quite, but uh, these are gonna be my pumpers for Mandalorian. Yep, those uh, two in the yellow door there, they look like they're uh, happily mated. That's good. Lots of blue bars, lots of white plates. And the rest of the these guys here would be pumpers, so. Oh, there's the, uh, that's who are going now. They've only seen each other through the screen, the welded metal, so now they're finally together. By the way, these are all 2022 birds, so they're young birds. They 
I know they can let they they lay eggs, uh, you know, kind of on their own, um, not fertile, but so I know they can lay eggs, um, but they're inexperienced with breeding. So this will be their first time breeding, but uh, these all have very good pedigrees. Most of them, uh, Baldwin, Tilson, Wolverine, um, Ornat. I'm super excited to have these birds and be breeding from them for, for next year. Okay, so not all pairings uh, work out. Um, these guys are not working out so far. So we're gonna take the cockbird out of there. He's a little too aggressive. Um, I think I'm gonna move him to a, more of a neutral location. So that, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, that's not working out. Can't leave him in there like that, beating up on the hen. All right, I gave uh, Mandalorian there a little bit of a break and uh, I moved him down to the bottom hen. It's uh, looking good so far. good so far and then I'll just keep kind of moving her him up the chain again she seemed to be responding okay this hen here wants some action that's Lucy going well. <laughs> now he's beating her up. So we'll give it a few, uh, just give her a few minutes here. But, uh, and then uh, if he continues to beat her up, we're going to move, move him. All right, guys. I have paired up everybody that I wanted initially here. Got their uh, food bowls in there nesting bowls with the pads uh, that one I just paired up today they um, they didn't like each other yesterday I think you, you guys saw that uh, uh, th that segment of the video where they you know copper was beating the snot out of the hen but now they like each other um, those are, that's been, those two are paired up. They're all good. We got their nest bowls in. This is my 2022 bird. I transferred him over to the cock section. He is so aggressive. I didn't realize that he likes to chase everybody. Look at him. Watch it. Look at him. He is just. Look at him. I just moved him over here and he's. King of the, yeah, this is relentless. Goes after everybody. All right, anyways. Paired up, that's 6503. Um, those two are paired up, sitting on the bowl. Mando's paired up. The two hens didn't like didn't like him, so we're gonna give it a little bit more time. And then uh, got these guys in here. Found out that if I, well, this guy shot on. If I left this open like this, they actually have the ability to fly in there. It's no problem. Like those two flew right in there. So these are my pumper section. Okay. Well, that's uh, it for pairing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, really wanted to, didn't have to do it, but I just wanted to share it. Cause I, uh, I myself like, uh, I enjoy watching people pair up their birds and stuff. So 
Okay, so if you like it, like, subscribe, thank you, and God bless. The cockbirds are just going crazy. Nuts. There we go. He knows where his box is. Yep, he's gonna sit in his sit on his bowl and he's gonna call his hen. Alright guys, I, uh, I'm done pairing them up, um, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm slowly opening up the uh, doors so that, uh, you know, some of the uh, birds can come out and stretch their wings and stuff, because I don't, I, you know, I, I really don't like to leave them in the nest box the whole entire time. Um, I just use the nest boxes mainly to pair them up and, and stuff like that, at least the doors anyways. But. But yeah, as you can see, they're going crazy right now. So, so I, they've been in there for four days, I think. Um, I opened up a few boxes, so they're uh, they're chasing their chasing their hens back into the box. So I'm just doing this a little at a time. There we go. See there, and they're fighting for the top spot. So. So that's gonna go on for a little while. That's okay. Let them duke it out. Um, eventually, they'll have their own spot. But uh, as you can see, just to minimize the chaos, I left the those two uh, down, so or close. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be nuts. All right, I better stop these two before they break their wing or something. That one bird uh, on the right, that's a pretty strong bird. So, Alright, looks like they're gonna hurt themselves here. But that one bird is gonna break his neck or something. Alright, knock it off, guys, knock it off. Come on. This is your spot. There you go. He's just not gonna give up. Look at him. <laughs> well, oddly enough, this is the fun part of uh, pairing these guys up. They're such, they're so aggressive and energetic. Okay. Oh, here we go again, round two. Whatever, duke it out. Yeah, that one bird is, uh, he's a 2022 young bird. This is uh, 2021 versus 2022. But the one on the left, uh, he's pretty strong. I mean, he doesn't look that big, but he's like muscular. <laughs> so, all right, anyways, um, kind of doing the same thing on this side. You get, I'm just gonna let that go on, okay? Because there's really no stopping it, to be honest with you. I can't sit here all day and babysit them. You know, the same thing here. I left those two in. These guys are pretty much settled, you know, those two pretty much. These, this is like more of the peaceful side. Those guys over there are pretty aggressive. You know, as you can see here, got, they're pretty calm here. Those two are out, but they, you know, they stay put. Same as those two, same as those two. You know, these two are just like... There we go. You just have to let them be and let the, the dominant win. And then they'll stop. There you go. Alright. <clears throat> Good job, buddy. Okay, so the, anyway, that's uh, that's it uh, for the pairing. They're all pretty much uh, paired up. Uh, it's just really getting them to settle down and you know um, pick their spots, um, and that's it. All right. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you have any suggestions, let me know as well.
Thank you. God bless.